Hello guys, in this video, I'll show you how to make a quiz competition circuit for 8 players. So let's get started. Let's see the circuit diagram for this circuit. This one is our IC 74LS373. Okay, it's pin number 1 and 10 both are connected together and then it is goes to ground pin number 20 is goes to point A I'll tell you later what is point A for now I'm just saying it point A okay and pin 11 is also connected to point A throw throw a 10 kilo ohm resistor as we have 8 candidates so we need 8 push to 1 switch so here is our switch 1 switch 2 like this and these are connected to 3 4 7 8 13 14 17 and 18 and other pin of the switches goes to point A now we have to connect pull down resistors for this and this resistor is connected to ground its value is 1 kilo ohms and we have to connect to all of them now we have to connect the output it means the LEDs for each candidate we have to connect one LED so we need 8 LEDs the output pin numbers are 2, 5, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16 and 19 now connect cathode pin of all the LEDs and then connect one 220 ohm resistor and then it is connected to ground now we need one transistor the transistor is BC548 its collector is connected to latch enable pin it means pin number 11 and its emitter is connected to ground then we have to connect one kilo ohm resistor to the base of the transistor and then we have to connect 8 diodes from the output so these are the 8 diodes the diode is 1N4007 now we need another transistor the transistor is BC548 its emitter is connected to ground its base is connected with 1 kilo ohm resistor and then it is connected to here ok now with the collector we have to connect one buzzer and other pin of the buzzer is connected to point A so this is the one part of the circuit now see the other part of the circuit we need a transistor and its emitter is our point A ok this is the point A I was talking about now we have to connect one one kilo ohm resistor with the base of the transistor and here we have to connect our VCC you can connect VCC from 6 volt to 7 volt ok now again this VCC is connected to collector of the transistor ok and now we need a push to on switch and this switch is connected to ground so this will be our reset switch and the transistor is VC548 now let's see the breadboard connection now put 8 switches one pin of the switch is connected to point A I'll take this positive rail as point A so so one pin of the switch is connected to point A now put the IC74373 its pin number 10 is connected to ground also the pin number 1 now connect both the positive rail pin number 20 is connected to point A 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected between pin number 11 and point A rail I have removed this jumper and I have connected a 220 ohms resistor in this as this negative rail is ground 
from here to here so this 220 ohm resistor is connected to ground as you can see here and the other side is this command point ok so I'll connect all the cathodes of the LEDs so we have 8 LEDs and with each of the LED one diode is connected now see here first diode is connected to first LED and both the anode pin is connected ok and with the second diode to the second LED now I'll use this negative rail as this common point ok so all the cathode side of the diodes are connected all together so here is your first diode with first LED and like this you have to connect ok LEDs and diodes are connected the first diode and first LED is connected to pin number 2 second diode and second LED is connected to pin number 5 and so on ok this is our first LED and diode and it is connected to pin number 2 second diode and LED is connected to pin number 5 third diode is connected to pin number 6 fourth one is connected to pin number 9 fifth is connected to pin number 12 sixth is connected to pin 15 seventh is connected to pin 16 and the last one is connected to pin 19 ok so diodes and LEDs are connected to the IC now connect all the input switch and the first switch is connected to pin 3 second switch is connected to pin 4 third is connected to pin 7 fourth is connected to pin 8 fifth is connected to pin 13 the sixth switch is connected to pin 14 the seventh switch is connected to pin 17 and the last switch is connected to pin 18 now put a transistor its emitter is connected to ground rail 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected between common point of diodes and the base of the transistor and collector is connected to pin number 11 of the IC now see here other side of the switch is connected to ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor so we have to connect 1 kilo ohm resistor between this point to this point ok because this side is input of the switch and this one is our output of the switch this negative rail is connected to this negative rail ok now we can connect 1 kilo resistor from the other side of the switch to the ground ok these resistors are connected now put a transistor its emitter is connected to ground its base is connected with 1 kilo ohms then this resistor is connected to the common pin of the diodes now we have a buzzer its negative pin is connected to the collector of the transistor and its positive pin is connected to the point A ok now we need another breadboard now put the reset switch and one transistor as the emitter of the transistor is point A so I'll connect this point A to the point A rail now connect one kilo ohm resistor to the base of the transistor and its collector is connected to plus VCC also the other side of the resistor is connected to the plus VCC one side of the switch is connected to ground rail and other side of the switch is directly connected to the base of the transistor ok so whenever I press the switch ground is connected to the base of the transistor now connect both the negative rail 
so this is all about our circuit connection now connect the power supply here I have connected the negative and here is our plus VCC ok I am applying plus 6 volt now press any of the switch so for this candidate this LED will glow for the second candidate the second LED will glow and so on now let's say three candidates knows the answer so they will press together but this candidate press the switch earlier than these two so this LED is glowing now organizer has to reset it ok now let's say this time these four candidates knows the answer and they pressed it now this time this candidate press the switch faster than three others so this LED is glowing now organizer again reset it so this is how so this is how you can make a quiz competition circuit for 8 players so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching